Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another exciting meeting at Satvik Toastmasters for Healthy Living. As the name suggests, Satvik stands for healthy living, or rather, the word itself means whatever is right. Right for living, right for eating, and right for speaking. And talking about speaking, where else can you do it? rather than Toastmasters meeting. Today we have wonderful speeches lined up. Something for you to take back to your life. Something for us to take back to our life as feedback. With that note, let me invite presiding officer for today, distinguished Toastmaster Pramod. Good morning, good afternoon. And good evening, Toastmasters and fellow Toastmasters. I can see some of the seasoned Toastmasters here. They are wondering what is happening here now in this meeting. We are deciding the role players, the speakers and evaluators, uh, even after starting the meeting. Please don't be mistaken. Sati Toastmasters Club is a baby club. We started three months back. And we are most of the members are new members. They are getting into the groove of Toastmasters for the first time. So, we are not facing any challenges, but we are facing some keeping troubles. And today, uh, we decided to have a speakathon or a speak marathon. Why? Because we are going for our first contest on the last day of this month. So, this would be a practice session for many of the people. So, today you will see five speeches uh, on various projects, and evaluators will also practice their evaluation skills. So, it is more like a practice session. So we decided to give our members a headway before going for the actual contest. With this, I can see some of the visiting Toastmasters and guests in this group. I would request them to switch on their camera, unmute their mic and just uh, introduce themselves so that uh, we all can know about you and see you. Esam, who is Esam? I'm really sorry, unless you who are at least properly naming, putting a name or yeah. uh, responding to our, our, our calls, then we will not be able to accommodate you in this meeting. Uh, please see whether any response is coming. Because of late, we have noticed some challenges during the meeting. Uh, uh, some, right. some issues were in the meeting. So we are not in a position to take any risk with regard to this meeting. Uh, if, uh, if you are not responding or you are not even switching on your camera or saying a hello, then we will assume that you are a board and you will be removed from this meeting. Uh, Guru Charan, Guru Charan, are you there? Guru Charan? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Good morning. Uh, Guru Charan, please, can you just uh, tell something about you, Guru Charan? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me try to switch on my camera. Yes, no. I would appreciate that. Yes. No, I'm getting an error like fail to start the video camera. Probably some issue with the it's not okay. an issue. You can figure it out later. But now you can tell about sure. yours. Uh, first, first of all, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Gurcharan. Uh, I'm from Punjab. Uh, I have got the link of this to Toastmaster from the Satvik uh, channel. You know, uh, in the Zoom channel. Professionally, I'm in IT. Uh, working more than like oh. 14 years in IT, and. Uh, I'm pretty much uh, uh, inclined to watch this channel because I had attended one session, I guess, uh, uh, two or three weeks before where I heard a doctor was speaking on that. So I'm looking to uh, uh, to join this channel. So yeah, that's about me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I can see Lisa Thompson. Uh, Lisa? Good evening, everyone. I'm in New York. It's almost 10 o'clock here, and I got up really early this morning to have brunch with my cousin and her daughter, and then I traveled a lot to get home, so I am exhausted, but I am happy to be here, and I am happy to introduce myself. I got my DTM July 13th of this year, and I am president of a group called Kidney Stories. We're mostly a, a um, United States group, but there are a few people from your club, including Raghu, 
that have been joining us on a regular basis. So I am a kidney recipient. That's why I got home so so tired today. I was at a at a conference yesterday when a Toastmaster introduced another Toastmaster who he and his wife are donors and they were awarded yesterday. So um, it was really nice that they got this award for being donor of the year for this transplant group. And, and it was a pleasure to be there and see Mark Scotch and his wife Lynn uh, get their award. So it was really amazing. I'm also VPM of Peekskill Toastmasters, and we just did our um, open house last week. It was really good. And Toastmasters has taught me a lot, and it's taught me not to say and as many times as I do, but when I'm not prepared, I say it a lot more. And I say so, and I say um. But if I'm prepared for a speech, then I say it a lot less. So it's very nice to be here. Thank you for letting my, me introduce myself. I hope you're not going to make me leave, but I am going to mute and, and hide my camera. Not an issue. Not an no. issue. You can be there because you are familiar to us. Thank you for joining. The meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having me. Visit our club very often. Great. And, Thank uh, you. Uh, one more. Uh, Manu. Manu is there, Manu? Manu? Okay, Manu is not responding. I think I didn't miss anybody. Yeah, Manu is there. Manu, please uh, unmute yourself and some, tell, uh, give an introduction about yourself in less than a minute. Uh, hi, sorry. I'm not so presentable uh, because I kind of woke up a little late, uh, taking in the Sunday <laughs> as an excuse. So, hi. Uh, good morning, all. And uh, good evening to people from other time zones. Yeah, I'm Manohar. I am a qualified chartered accountant. I have been part of this uh, UHC group uh, two months back. Okay. So after that, uh, I'm trying to follow, but uh, I was not able to do 100%. So I'm trying to get in touch uh, again through the groups and through the Facebook groups uh, so that I can inculcate and get uh, inspired by other stories. Yeah. So Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That, and you can share your contact details and email with us through a, a personal chat to me Raku, or Vrinda. So we'll try to help you sort out the situation and let's see how we can work together to do this and ask. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Thank sure. you, Manu. Thank and you. Uh, now, now, now that we have completed the introduction, now all the people in the meeting are familiar to us. Uh, let me introduce the Toastmaster of the Day. The Toastmaster of the Day... Uh, in today's meeting are none other than our omnipresent distinguished Toastmaster uh, Raghunath Raju with a huge round of applause. Uh, let me welcome distinguished Toastmaster Raghu to this meeting. Over to you, Raghu. Thank you very much. DTM Pramo, distinguished Toastmaster Pramo. Once a man entered a village and he approached the village elder and asked him, what kind of people live here? The village elder told, or rather asked him, what kind of people lived where you came from? The man said, they were swindlers, they were thieves, rogues. I didn't like them at all. And the elder man said, that's exactly the people who live here. The man said, I was thinking of settling down here, but now I'm leaving. He left and never could come back. Next day, another man came. He approached the same elder and asked him, what kind of people live here? I'm planning to settle down. The elder asked again, what kind of people live where you came from? The man said, they were so nice and kind. I actually had a pain to leave the place. I didn't want to leave. But I have my own challenge. I have to move for my work. The man said, it's exactly the same kind of people who live here. Let me find a place for you. There's a saying, popular saying in Telugu, Noru manchidete, ur manch. Which means, I'd rather translate it to English. It means that if you are a better communicator, 
the world becomes a better place. Communication makes world a better place. Rather, better communication, effective communication makes the world a better place. And where else can it happen rather than Toastmasters? Isn't it? Where we learn how to be effective communicators, how to hone our communication skills to become a better version of ourselves. Ourself, not anyone else. I want to stress on that. Well, today we have five wonderful speeches lined up and some wonderful guests who are going to witness this event. As part of Speakathon, we have five speakers. Starting with first speaker will be Toastmaster Navya and Karthi calling Karthi or Raghu calling Raghu will be the second speaker, Raghu. And third speaker is Pramod. And our fourth speaker will be Vrunda, our VP education. And the fifth speaker will be our VPPR, that will be Toastmaster Aro. Now I got everybody's title except Aro. I you need to send to me in the private chat. Before I invite the first speaker, let me invite the evaluator for Toastmaster Navya speech, our distinguished Toastmaster Frederica, joining for beautiful Caribbean highlights. Good morning, good evening. It's evening on my side. I'm from the island of Dominica and I have the distinct pleasure of evaluating Toastmaster Navia. She's speaking from the path public speaking, her level one speech, evaluation and feedback. So the purpose of this speech is she will deliver a speech to which evaluation will be given, to which if feedback will be given, and she's supposed to use that feedback in her second speech. The title of her speech, Rules and Rewards. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much. Now, before I invite, let me check on our role players. Timer, are you, are you, are you going to still with the timer? This is Toastmaster Pramod. Wonderful. Can you quickly show the timer cards? How you are going to show it so that the speakers are aware of? Can you show the timer cards? Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. And then can I also check? Okay, I hope out? it is visible, right? Uh, you can pin me yes. before yes. your speech so that you will not miss the timing sequence. Okay. Right, please. If you are joining from mobile, please pin this in your source for the promote. If not, it's fine. Now, our friend, our newest member, Toastmaster Hari Nair, is the grammarian for today. Hari, do you want to quickly introduce the word of the day and also introduce your role as a grammarian? Sure. sure. Thank you, uh, DTM Raghu. Um, I'm very pleased to be the grammarian for today's speakathon. Uh, my role as a grammarian will be to pay attention to the good usage of English and uh, provide suggestions for improvement. So. At the end of the meeting, I'll be providing a report on any outstanding usage as well as any misuses of language. And now let me introduce the word of the day. The word of the day is audacious. And here is the definition, showing a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. Audacious, showing a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. And every speaker will be encouraged to use the word at least once, the word of the day. And I'll be counting how many of you use it and how many times and providing my report. Thank you. Thank you, DTM Raghu. Back to you. Thank you very much, First Master Hari Nair. Vamshi Allah, will you be kind be our our counter for today? We can't hear you. Yeah, you are able to hear me? Yes. I will take the eye contact. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we have all the roles set up. Now it's trying. If Pramod, do you have something? No, I'm just uh, keeping myself uh, right on the screen. If I raise hand, I will always be there on the screen and speaker no can see. No problem. Just a technical. No problem. Toastmaster Navya, do you see, do you see the timer? And quick audio and video. Quick audio check. 
Can you speak again? I, I for a minute I, I felt I lost your voice. Am I audible, Raghu? Yes, you're audible. Toastmaster Navya. Rules to rewards. Rules to rewards. Toastmaster Navya. Imagine you have just joined college two days back and it is around 10 p.m. in the night and you glance outside your hostel room window and your heart skips a beat. You see two leopards growling around the backside of your hostel room. I was horrified at the sight. Can you imagine this fear going, coursing through your veins? The college I am talking about is none other than IIT Mumbai, which is one of the most prestigious institutes in the country. And since the campus is located inside a dense forest and is close to Sanjay Gandhi National Park, the sightings of leopards are quite common. Like at times, we do see them at midnight, like that. But this, so far, there have been no reported attacks. This is the college where I have pursued my master's in management in 20, uh, 2017. IIT has a separate department called as Shailesh Jamaica School of Management, which was established in 1997. So good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters. The title of my today's speech is Rules to Rewards, and I'm going to talk about the memorable experiences I had at my college. In India, when anyone uh, is uh, talking about any professional degree, the common topic of interest for everyone is about internships and placements. So in college, uh, we had a dedicated team for placements. And we were actually introduced to the placement team in the most hilarious way possible. In the induction week, uh, when all clubs and teams introduction was happening, and all first year students, we were sitting in the auditorium. Suddenly, a swarm of senior students actually uh, come inside the auditorium and they start, start shouting at the students, sending students outside the auditorium who are not attentive or laughing. For a few minutes, we thought this is the dramatics club or uh, some other club introduction is going on. But we get to know later and we are surprised that it is none other than the placement team. And they uh, gave us a big pep talk on how they are going to actually prepare us for the placements. What are the strict rules they are going to impose on us? In the first week, we had planned that uh, we will be actually going around Mumbai roaming and enjoying the college life, but now we all our plans seems to go in rain. We are uh, we are told about all the strict rules like uh, there are going to be no late night outings and we are we were going to receive uh, emails, assignments which we have to submit by night, 12 o'clock. We had to report report at the placement office at uh, sometimes 2 a.m. in the morning. So so following days were not same anymore. Even if you receive, receive an email from the placement office at 12 in the midnight, you have to, uh, you have to reach the placement office at 12.30, no matter what. Even if you are able to get an auto, how you are going to come, they, they are not going to bother about that. And, and if any other department is asked at IIT about the MBA department, what impression they have is MBA department people uh, run in the middle of the night in, uh, in blazers, they'll be running around sometimes morning 7 o'clock. So that is the impression uh, other departments were having about the management uh, department here. Placement team members used to guard us from all the different corners. Like when there is a uh, guest lecture or something going on, if someone is not attentive or someone is just dozing off in the meeting, so we were, uh, the, our names were actually noted down and we were imposed uh, fines or uh, we were given warnings that these students will not be allowed to sit in the placements. So that was the kind of environment we had for uh, one month. So one uh, one month of uh, gro uh, grueling happened, but this uh, period was followed by 100% of the students actually getting the internships. 
the placement team actually uh, became uh, very good friends as well after that. Towards the end of the MBA, we actually realized that this uh, grueling and conditioning was required to prepare the students for the upcoming corporate life. After all, uh, all this, uh, we actually felt that the corporate life seems much easier. Like we had so many uh, academics going on, parallel placements, parallel uh, some guest lectures, assignments, so many things in parallel that actually managing the job uh, seems easier uh, after MBA. And apart from academics and placements, there was a lot of fun also we had at IND. We had many interdepartment fests, interdepartment sports competitions, which we could participate whenever we found, whenever we found free time. We had an Olympic size swimming pool, we had squash court, badminton court, basketball court, whatever sports one can think of, all the facilities were uh, available at IIT. And being a sports enthusiast myself, I uh, I worked as the PG sports secretary and organized a different uh, department level sports for uh, post-graduation. Uh, and apart from, from other groups, we had even uh, uh, our Telugu group as well, being a tel guide myself, we had a Gulte group where we actually used to hang out among our uh, same language speaking people. So if we had to found some free time, we used to go around Marine Drive, Gateway of India, which are uh, very famous in Mumbai, and sit around, uh, sit near the Marine Drive in the cool breeze, enjoying some quality mm -hmm. time. My MBA has been, it has been the two best years of my life. It has prepared me for the tough corporate life uh, post MBA, and I'm really thankful. My college gave me more than what I could all ask for, and those it has become my second home, and it has etched in my heart forever. It's difficult to let go, but it's the only way to grow. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, back to you. Wonderful. Now, I urge everyone to share your feedback with Navya in private chat. Let's take 30 seconds for that. Tama, please let me know when it is 30 seconds. Well, that concludes 30 seconds. Now, as I'm the second speaker, I will let this English Toast Master Lakshmi Nair do the honors of inviting me to the speaker. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. The second second speaker for today is Distinguished Toastmaster Raku. He's delivering his level three project, which is connect with storytelling. The purpose of the project is for the member to practice using a story within a speech or giving a speech that is a story. The time for the speech is five to seven minutes and the title of the speech is, It's Not My Problem. All the best DTM Raku, over to you. Before I start, are you able to hear me and see me clearly? Can somebody confirm? Yes, yes. Old MacDonald had a farm, e -a -e -a just like the old MacDonald. They used to be a farmer residing in a town in the United States. And on his farm, he had few animals and a very beautiful wife. As they say, life finds its own way. And so to the pest. On fine day, a rat entered his house. It made a hole in his wall, started living there, waiting for the crumbles of food to 
to fall down from the table of his kitchen and started eating that. But it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Made friends with all the animals and started to think to a part of its family. One day, it came out of its house, stretched its body, and then what does it see? A new package in the hands of farmer's wife. Wow, it must be something exciting, he thought. It waited for the packet to be unwrapped. Package was unwrapped, and what does it see? A trap, a mouse trap, stuck trembling. And it was fearing what might happen. And it goes rushing here, rushing there. And it finally went to its friend, chicken. She can do you know something. There's a trap in the house, a mouse trap. How does it matter? It is not my problem, it's your problem. My problem? Not your problem. It got the first shock of life when people so show the indifference. They're so indifferent, they don't care about life. It felt dejected. But then it got the hope. I have my friend pig. Pig, do you know something is trapped in the house? Mouse trap. We should run away. A trap. A mouse trap. I feel so sorry for you, rat. But you see, it's not my problem. It's your problem. I cannot fit into the mouse trap. It's you. I will pray to the Almighty. And I'm sure the problem will be resolved. Sympathy, prayer, how will it help me pick? But then it caught a rather pumped up its hole and rushed to the cow. Cow, do you something? It's a trap in the house, a trap, a mouse trap. Boom, boom, boom. How does it bother to me? I'm so energetic and I don't fit the case. Get lost. It's your problem. Deal with it. Felt lost. And it said, okay. It's the end of my life, but let me live it to the fullest. It went into that house, that hole in the wall, waiting for it to happen. That night came a sound. Tap! And the former's wife thought, oh, it must be the rat and rushed to the trap. Little did she know, it was the snake's tail which was caught in the trap. The snake bit her, and she had to rush to the hospital. Three days later, she came home with high fever. And my friends, what do they saw when you have fever? Of course, chicken soup. Chicken was butchered. The soup was served. And our friend rat kept watching. Few days later, people came. They wanted to see how she was doing. The, the relatives, the friends kept coming from different places. And they have to be fed, of course. And to do that, our friend pig was slaughtered and served all those friends. And our friend Rat kept watching. Kept watching. Finally, after a few days, Thomas' wife died. And there was a funeral, and everyone was invited from the village and to feed them. Our friend Cow was slaughtered and served to everyone. Friend Rat kept watch. How many times in your life did someone say, It's your problem, not my problem? How many times did you say, It's your problem, my friend, not my problem? How many times did you see someone saying, I will pray for you? I feel 
the sympathy. I feel for you, but they don't care at all. How many times did someone show you and never even cared about your problems? You never know. The fire in your neighbor's house just takes a few seconds to fly and burn your house into ashes if you are ignoring it. 2019, November, they started saying it was China's problem. 2020, January, they said it was Italy's problem. March 2020, it became entire world's problem when we went into the lockdown. Just again the time when two countries are fighting together. We are forgetting the history of our world wars and just ignoring, saying it's Russia and Ukraine's problem. Think about it. It was just like that when Russia and Germany went into the war, later it became a problem of the entire world. Let's stop saying it's your problem. In every case, my dear friends, you never know when it can blow up and just burn down your house into ashes. And in fact, let's say it's our problem because we all belong to one family and that's one family under one sky. Was a day one. Those master. Thank you, Raghu. Well, it's time for some feedback, and I will accept your feedback with generosity in my chat. Time, please give 30 seconds for that. Yes, so good, 30 seconds. Wonderful, thank you. It's time for our third speech. And we have none other than distinguished host master Pramod, who is giving his speech, and I am his evaluator. Talking about his speech, distinguished host master Pramod is attempting level, rather, second speech from his distinguished host master project. The purpose of this project is for the member to demonstrate his or her skills as a leader and public speaker. And the purpose of this speech is for the member to sh share some aspect of his or her experience completing the project. Now, I would request someone to time. Probably I can do that. And the timing is 8 to 10 minutes. Who's going to time the timer? <laughs> Okay, Vrinda, is there something that you can do? I'll do it. I can. Okay. I'll let I'll... you do the go. Okay, thank you. Now, let me invite the speaker with the speech title. This is the Stoosh Master Pramod. Why do we know? Why do we need an SOP? Why do we need an SOP? This is the Stoosh Master Pramod. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Toastmasters and future Toastmasters. Most of you know that I am a banking professional. Here in banks, we are encouraged or rather strictly instructed to follow some standard operational procedure. So SOP is the short form of standard operational procedures. Earlier, it was very irritating and difficult for me to follow an SOP because it restricts our creativity and it restricts our innovation. If I say that SOP is the most safest thing from two angles, first is it will not give you any accountability factors beyond your delegated powers if you are following your SOP. Suppose you are in an organization and your organization says that you have committed some mistake 
then you can just tell them that I strictly follow the SOP and I have marked all the checklist. So checklist and SOP. And over a period of 16, 17 years of doing the same thing, following the SOP and all, I finally became an SOP person. Even if my wife says, we have to go for a road trip, I'll start making an SOP. The same thing happened when I wanted to do a speech craft program. I got an offer from distinguished Toastmaster Veku. Can you be the next program manager of our speech craft program ABC2? I said, okay, I can be. Earlier, I was a coordinator. Before that also, maybe a few years back, I have done two, three speech craft programs live programs, offline programs in some of the corporates in Pune. But I was not aware that I was committing something very serious. But what was my strength? My strength was my mentors. I had two mentors. They extensively promised me that they would help me out with any situations. Dr. Mary Thomas, and distinguished postmaster Raghunath Raju were my mentors. And I had the strength of the material that Susan used as a program manager before that. So here comes the conflict. Susan is very meticulous and Susan sends each for each and everything, she sends a mail well before time. I'm just opposite to her. I don't prefer 16 mails. I just prefer one mail with all the information. And I expect people to read those things and meticulously follow. That was the first mistake I committed. I would say rather Susan was correct. But still, day one onwards, I started making an SOP. If you don't know a speech craft program, I'll tell you, it involves a lot of preparation. The most challenging task is to find out the role players because the coordinators will be interested in coming forward. It's an opportunity for them in many ways. But role plays only with self-initiative and self-motivation, they do attend the meetings multiple times from four to eight weeks. That was the first challenge I faced. And what was the second one? Second one was to find out the special speakers or keynote speakers for various sessions. When I say these things are challenges, I was properly helped by my mentors because they were connected with International Fraternity of Toastmasters, Dr. Mary and Dr. Raghu. I'm a distinguished Toastmaster Raghu. They help me find out good speakers and good keynote speakers for our speech craft attendees. So that task to an extent was mitigated, but still I didn't make an SOP. I was just following. The only good thing which I did in the beginning was creation of an agenda. And thankfully I didn't have to edit the agenda till the last because I never had any backup from any of the special speakers or keynote speakers. That is the one good thing that happened in my speech craft program. The other challenge is the backup of role players and that created some issue for me. So when I say these are challenges that I faced, it comes out with some opportunities as well. Keynote speakers, I said, I didn't know anybody, but what are the opportunities? I came to know about them or I met them. I got familiarized with them through my mentors. So I was unknowingly adding more connections in Toastmasters fraternity. Big shots, distinguished Toastmasters, established speakers, keynote speakers. So I got a chance to rub my shoulders with the international community of good speakers, accredited speakers. So that was, a, that was an opportunity for me. The second thing, the last minute backouts, 
normally i get frustrated if any of my team members are backing out at the last moment like if there is a speaker i served as a vp education for a club then what happened every morning on the day of meeting i'll get an whatsapp message that today i will not be able to attend the meeting i am i'm sure that i always sympathize with brinda when it comes to a, a toast masters meeting because every vp at face the same thing the same way i also faced this challenge but when you have a challenge you find out a way to address it so that was the second point in my sob find out back out role players because i knew that rekh would be there i knew that uh, some two three names are there they are just like totem and attached they, they are always there permanently so i can fall back on them and request to take any role at the last minute so in my sob i mark that okay these people will be the two three four speakers for my backup they are my guardian angels then pillar of support i i told you they were already there then these challenges came with opportunities i just transcripted all those things in my sob so what was the what was the intention of writing down all those things from the beginning onwards how we have to plan all those things pi says that it has to be planned 6 weeks in advance or 2 months in advance but i didn't get an opportunity to plan everything in 6 weeks in advance but but i started planning everything maybe 1 week in advance i had written every step that okay first you have to prepare an agenda that i said i have already prepared then then i said find out the good speakers i with the help of my mentors i could find out good speakers keynote speakers the third one identify the challenges the challenges i identified then this opportunity part which is the benefit of identifying these challenges early and finding out solutions just like i explained to you with an example that backing out of rules was a challenge but how do you address this challenge that you have to find out backup speakers or backup role players well in advance so that this challenge can be mitigated this is just an example there are there were few more challenges technical challenges many things are there so you have to find out a solution a good sop is something which will make you strive through a situation without much difficulty just like a checklist even i believe that pilots they uh, they uh, they also use a, a checklist to fly the flights even 100 times they are doing the same thing so i believe in sop even anything can be converted into an sop so that's the point of the whole speech then what do you learn from this experience you can ask yourself when you get an opportunity see i have handled several projects in my official life there you get an opportunity to perform any particular role or do some project with authority in toastmasters you don't have any authority it's a servant leadership model so when we say it's a servant leadership model the next subtitle is leaders without titles because you are a leader but you don't have any title here also my title program manager doesn't give me any rights to force pressure or my authority on anyone because i am well aware that the entire people working for the speech craft program are volunteers they are spending their time and the most powerful lot among the group of speech craft are speech craft participants because they have paid money to attend the sessions so what i learned is that in order to sustain a difficult situation in your life what you need is you need good mentors you need good supporting system you should have challenges so that you will find out the solution for the same thing that you can work on and improve and finally you should also have gratitude towards what you do i am thankful and i express my gratitude to both my mentors for giving me an opportunity and helping me out the potential if any lies within me as an organizer with this humble words let me give my control back to the toastmaster of the day distinguished master thank you
Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Master Pramod. I urge everyone to share your feedback with Pramod in private chat. Pramod, please give me 30 seconds for that. Okay, 30 seconds. Wonderful. Thank you very much. That concludes this new storage master framework, this new storage master project. It's time for our next speed. And our next speaker today is our own VP Education, Vice President of Education, which will be Toastmaster Runda. Runda evaluator is our VP membership, which is Toastmaster Prati. Prati, can you please introduce the speaker's speech purpose for today? Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Raghu. Uh, so, Vrinda is Toastmaster Vrinda is performing a level two project. And uh, the purpose of the project is uh, for the member to identify his or her primary leadership skills and, or style. And uh, also, the member need to share some aspect of his or her primary leadership style, basically. So uh, the topic of the speech is inspiring leadership. And the time for this is five to seven minutes. All the best, Toastmaster Vinda. Thank you. Thank you, Vrinda. Okay. Thank you, Vrinda. Thank you, Vrinda. Thank you, Vrinda. Thank you, Inspiring leadership. Inspiring leadership, Toastmaster Vrinda. Friends, have you ever experienced a speaker or a leader whose message has stuck with you? Over the years also, you can't forget the words of this leader. Well, I have experienced one such leader in my career in banking and his words are still in my head fresh as if it was just yesterday. He gave us a mantra called customer first and he created an entire culture within the bank which was customer first. Until then we had various other strategies all over various departments in the bank had different different goals of their own. Well this leader came he addressed the entire bank. We were about 6,000 employees spread across the entire uh, country of India, which was probably more than 40 cities at the time. And just this one mantra, customer first, changed our perspective. So today, friends, I am going to compare what an inspirational leadership looks like and what's the formula for it and how it has impacted me. Customer first is what he said, but he didn't just set it, he gave a vision for it. He explained the why. If you have to be an inspirational leader, explain the why for it. His intention was, there are several banks. In fact, within Mumbai, where I used to work, we had a street wherein all the bank head offices were there. There was Citibank, there was HSBC, there was American Express, all these banks, are almost adjacent to each other. And within that, why should somebody come to our bank? What was the value add that our bank proposed? And if you have to have that value add, how do you express that value add? Would it be in the advertisements, customer share, or would it be in each employee of that particular bank? His message was, you are the leader. You are the one who's going to make that change. You are the one who will make ourselves customer first. What he did was he almost made us get up from a chair. His communication style was such that we wanted to do it right away, then and there. 
what he gave us was inspiration. And not only did he give us, I was an employee, I was an officer at the time. Uh, and with that, I felt like, why, like, what's in it for me? It's for my manager to decide. But this man had changed it. He let me take the owners of my desk, my customers, and be my leader for my own area. That was the difference that he created. And let me cite a few examples. I was at a branch working as a customer service manager at the time. This leader was not working at a bank. He had just come over as a, a cluster head. So it was a new area. We were not even familiar with this leader. And we were used to competitions within a retail bank. If you know a culture or just for everybody to understand, there's a lot of customer centricity. There's a lot of talk about sales, numbers, selling products like wealth management, insurance, uh, priority banking, and so on. And within that, if there is something like everybody is familiar of is targets and numbers. So this was the time when everybody is competing. One branch is competing with the other. One employee is competing with the other. And the bosses or the branch heads are usually the ones who are pressurizing with the numbers. And with that, this culture, he got in a shift wherein he introduced the concept of why. And he called, also talked about the trust factor. Not just the trust between an employee and a customer, but a trust within an employee and employee, why you should do that. And he weaved it into a very small formula or a simple formula, which was customer first. So if I am dealing with my customer, customer first, if I am dealing with my brand, it is again the brand first. So wherever it is, the, you are the first one. He also taught us the how. So within my context, it was about my branch being the best amongst the other branches on the street. And I learned about how I could do that. I was able to go back to my leader to talk about uh, marketing skills, uh, talk about the difference in my level of customer service within my branch, how to bring that difference, how to make it more human. And within our own branch, which was, a, I think we were at about 30 employees within our branch, all 30 of us brainstormed. It brought us together. We had lovely ideas. Our branch would open up at nine o'clock. Before nine o'clock, we used to have music running in the branch, wherein people used to dance because that was a kind of lively atmosphere we used to have. Nine o'clock, the branch would open. It was serious business, but very customer friendly again, employee friendly. Three o'clock, the branch would close, shutters down. Again, people would encourage each other and play with each other, have good discussion. And there was authenticity wherein people talked about what was right, what was wrong, and how we could have done better. And all this was because of the great communication style that my leader had, which was authentic communication. He explained to us what we could do and the how, and I as a leader was able to pass it within my branch. What is our aim for today? What is our aim for the month? And how we could achieve it, celebrate our success and learn from our failures. And the communication from my leader was always very encouraging. He did not talk of our mistakes, but he talked about the learning experiences. His emails were also just one email a month or sorry, one email a week. And we knew what to do. And the same thing I used was communication, authentic and realistic. And with that, I have still after more than a decade, I'm still using that formula. And I hope you're able to learn something and develop your leadership style. Thank you and back to you. Wonderful speech, Toshmach of Vrinda. I urge everyone to share your feedback in private chat. Timer, please give me 30 seconds. This is what I keep saying, everybody. Build your well. 
well that is located in your brain. And it is with any knowledge that you're having that you that read and observe, even observe your personal story. And Brunda always brings her personal story in our speakers. 30 seconds. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, there's a popular saying in uh, Hindi, which means uh, the son is always uh, double the father type, whether it is uh, the father is a, a thief, the son becomes a decoy. And same thing is applicable to it, a guru and sishya, which means a mentor and mentee. Well, I had a speech title talking about my procrastination where I declared myself as a lord of procrastination. And today, it is the same thing with my mentee, which is a Toastmaster Aro. Now, before I invite him with his title, I will invite his speech evaluator, Toastmaster Pratik, to give the speech of the years. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Raghu. Uh... So Toastmaster Arav is performing his uh, level two, project one, uh, Pathways Presentation Mastery. And his speech objective is, uh, is to learn about different communication styles. We have seen in Vrinda different leadership styles. So here, uh, to learn about different communication styles and ident identify his primary style, basically. So the title of the speech is the art of procrastination and the time is five to seven minutes. All the best, Toastmaster Arav. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Pati. Toastmaster Aro, the art of procrastination. The art of procrastination, Toastmaster Aro. Loud, am I loud and clear? Um, can anyone confirm? Okay, cool. The art of procrastination. Have you ever found yourself waiting until the very last moment to complete a task, even though you knew you should have started earlier? Good day, fellow Toastmasters, dear guests, and anyone who's ever submitted an assignment five minutes before the deadline. College life is a roller coaster filled with adventure, discovery, and of course, procrastination. Today, I want to take you all on a journey into the world of the art of procrastination from a perspective of a college student. As a college student, we have honed our procrastination skills to perfection. The toolkit includes Netflix binges, endless scrolling through social media, and hitting the snooze button on our alarms more times than we'd like to admit. Oh, come on. Everyday story. Let's not forget the allure of just one more episode that turns into a full season marathon. Agree to that. In the real mo creative excuses, college students are true artists. We have spun tales about printer malfunctions, Wi-Fi outages, and the most used, ma'am, stomachache. Some of, of these excuses are so creative that they could win us awards. Yes, is it? We are Olympians in the procrastination games. We have competed in the events like last minute dash, where adrenaline fuels our work in the final hours. We have mastered the art of Creaming an entire semester's worth of knowledge into a single night. Oh, that is the story of last night. I had an exam last night. We have written essays and assignments 
so fast and mindlessly that we skip the spelling part oh who cares about spelling in the assignment never mind of course the there are downsides of procrastination college stress level increases opportunities are missed yeah and those deadlines loom larger and larger minute by minute i know we have all had that heart pounding moment when we have realized that an assignment was due at midnight and the clock showed oh my god it's 11:58 and we cannot do anything we have to start writing by that time and arrange some assignments from our friends and we'll copy paste it that everyday story <laughs> but surprisingly procrastination sometime leads to creative solutions or moments of inspiration i once procrastinated so much that i had to write an entire 50 page assignment in just one night all thanks to caffeine and desperation that kept me awake that night so what's the moral of the story embrace your inner procrastination with a sense of humor laugh at your own excuses share your tales of last minute heroics and find the fun in the chaos of college life before i end this speech i want to ask any one of you the most funniest or creative procrast excuse that you made to procrastinate dtm raghu my mentor i want to ask you what is that one excuse which you gave to your senior not senior but my wife i, I keep delaying everything she wants me to go and drive groceries i use some excuse and there is a popular lines in hindi as आज करे सो कल कल करे सो परसों परसों करे सो नरसो क्या पढ़ी है जल्दी जब पढ़ी हुए परसों मींस यू व्हेन इट इज नाउ डू इट टुमारो टुमारो डू इट डे आफ्टर इफ डे आफ्टर देन अनदर डे बिकॉज़ व्हाट इज व्हाट इज अ हरी व्हेन द इयर्स आर लाइक देयर सो आई काइंड ऑफ फॉलो इट एंड आई काइंड ऑफ आई कैन रिलेट टू यू माय डियर टोस मास्टर आर सो procrastination isn't always bad remember the quote by victor came procrastination is opportunities assassin that's all from my side over to you toastmasters of the day thank you all thank you very much toastmaster aro yes what i had 3 weeks to prepare for my presentation on body language and yesterday i was sitting afternoon creating the presentation and that's how i procrastinate too well we are the procrastination kings but let audience give us feedback for 30 seconds in the private chat i hope that's done now i'm wearing a second cap cap of general evaluator and i will be evaluating the meeting proceedings and let's see how you're going to do so i'll be inviting the role players and do the meeting evaluation starting with speech evaluation our first speaker today was toast master navya navya joining us today from hyderabad the pearl city from india and her evaluator is a beautiful lady in the room joining from caribbean islands wishing you so much of frederica alexander thank you mr general evaluator to master navia thanks for relieving 
your memories with us. When I heard the topic, rules to reward, I pondered what could that be? But then I realized you're an audacious speaker and you're about to relieve your memories as you introduced at the beginning of your speech. I love the content. You are comfortable in your delivery since you were speaking from the heart. So that was very nice. What I really loved, you said your MBA years were your best years and it prepared you for life and will forever be edged in your memory. And I guess that was your reward. When come to the eye contact, you had it. Your speech had structure. But again, your gestures, that is something you would have to work on. In terms of your facial expression, when you were talking about fun, I expected to see that big grin, that bigger smile. So that is something you would have to look at very closely. In terms of vocal variety, it was sort of monotone. So when you get excited, speak excited. So we can understand that you're moving from one level to the next. And when you get sad, you go down to the other place. Clarity was my biggest problem. When you are speaking to people like me, maybe Toastmaster Rago may understand and the others may understand. You will get there, but you have to take time to pronounce the words. And therefore, it was a little problem at the beginning, so I had to get my headphones. So you expect everybody to understand what you're saying. So just take a little pause, take a little time, speak a little slower, that you can pronounce your words a little better. And that for sure will come, I know. But you may want to challenge yourself in your next speech by applying some appropriate gestures and using the right facial expressions. Again, I will add that little bit. You can add some humor to the speech. I show in the fun, you had some great humor to add to that speech. So do it in your next speech too. I look forward to your speech too. Thanks for a great speech. Thank you. Wonderful evaluation you used to us, Mr. Frederica. Yeah. Navya, I, kind, I agree completely with Frederica today on your speeches evaluation. I also feel that you need to fix your audio because there's a resound and the sound is getting lost in that room. So probably use a headphone next time. And second thing is try to improve aesthetics. So there is the lighting and also try to stand up and give speeches because when it goes to physical meetings, you need to stand up and give. So if you continue giving speeches sitting in a position, that will not give you that comfort. Okay, wonderful. It's time for our second speech evaluation. Well, it's just like uh, trying to lit a cracker and run away. That's what it was happen because when your evaluation time comes. Well, let me invite this huge stores master, let me know evaluate my own speech. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Rakhu. Hello once again. Distinguished Toastmaster Rakhu began with the rendition of the classical nursery rhyme, Old MacDonald's. And instinctively, my story listening skills got super activated. But little did I know that the next five to six minutes, I'm going to witness a captivating narration of a beautiful story with a great takeaway. First of all, I would like to state that the purpose of this uh, speech, which was to deliver a story in a speech or to give a speech that is a story is completely met because this was one enthralling story speech. I loved the narration where the speaker delivered the entire speech with 
good usage of body language, gestures, and the available space within the screen. I could see him moving as he transitioned from different character transition to one from different characters. The voice modulations while transitioning to the different characters were excellent. Now, I would be audacious enough to say here that to find a recommendation to a speech titled It's Not My Problem became a huge problem for me because I could hardly find any. But still, I would give a recommendation which I think is more or less the speech specific and not a general one because many a times, though the voice modulation was excellent, many a times it went so low that I had to strain to listen to you. So I couldn't, I couldn't listen to certain, it happened once or twice, but it went very low. That was one slight problem I saw, but otherwise the brilliant way you connected the speech and the story to some of the major events that the humanity witnessed was, I think, too good. And also you ended your speech by once again, reinforcing the importance of the essence of the statement Vasudeva Kutumpagam, which is the entire world as a family, by stating how a small event that happened started in certain part of a uh, country snowballed into an issue that that mattered the entire world. Uh, so I think that was brilliant. I love the speech. I love the story. I love the takeaway message. Uh, I loved everything about the speech, I would say, and I look forward to listening to more of your speeches. All the best, DTM Rabu, for more speeches. We look forward to more. Over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lakshmi Nair, the feedback is well taken. One thing I loved about your evaluation is talking about the purpose, whether the purpose is met or not. The next evaluators, I expect to include this part, whether the purpose of the speech is met or not. Now it's time for feedback for the upcoming speaker. Our third speaker for today, who was our third speaker? Mission News to Master Promo. And who is the evaluator? Again, Karthik calling Karthik, rather Raghu calling Raghu. And I'm evaluating his speech. Now let me reinforce the purpose of the speech. And that was the for a member to share some aspect of his or experience completing the project of Distinguished Toastmaster project. A Distinguished Toastmaster Brahma, I love the way you opened your speech today, talking about the importance of SOP, especially when people fail and they just mentioned that I follow SOP. And but this is what something that came up, right? And then you also link it to speech craft. That's something I've rarely seen people doing it. For people who don't know about the post master and speech craft, you have well explained to that that is called something audience awareness, which you are aware of the constitution of the audience today. I love the way that you talked about 360 degrees of the speech craft, where the problems rather talking about the positive side and also the improvement areas of graph and when people have not shown up and how things were handled. Talk about good things and now it's time to give them the Improvement, like, I will not go into a speech aesthetic because you are an established speaker. I'm not trying to, but, but I have some improvement areas. This, I, fail to see the plan that you have, how time the communication your team has set up. Something that you have mentioned, whether there were any issues or not, and what and where you took 360 degrees feedback from your team members and how people found it. That you could have mentioned. The wow factor today, Pramod, was that I was all ears to your speech today because rather I have an attention disorder, which I'm proclaiming today, is I cannot hear people completely unless I hear some interesting words there. And you had all that over your speech. 
and then you you had that voice motivation to expressing about your friend overall it was a wonderful speech and i wish you all the best and you establish and met the purpose of your speech because you shared the experience completing your vision with toast master project with that note let me call the general evaluator ravinanda raj well, i'm back now it's time for our next two speeches evaluate now this guy is an experienced toast master already before he joined the club and he loves doing double times toast master prati back pratik all yours evaluating brinda speech and also aros thank you toastmaster raghu for this opportunity so i am the evaluator first for toastmaster brinda uh for this uh, for her speech for fourth speech so i was just going through the objective and the purpose of the speech was very clear that you know he she has to give us some aspects of what are the leadership styles which she has experienced and after that what is her leadership style she need to explore so uh, she started with a question and then she started with uh, narrating his her leader the leader which she has seen in india when she was working in bank and she got inspired with that leader that leader was setting some example for the team and uh, giving some aspects that there should be a mantra and every leader works with some mantra so she she started with a question which has created something in our mind that okay what a leader should be and with that leader example she has explained us the aspects of a leader what are the different styles leader can have and if he gives a mantra to us uh, we can really learn from that leader i will say that her leaders leadership style what i got from her is a uh, informational type of leader so she she is very systematic leader i will say because she has introduced a concept in her life as 5w on it 5 5 by what and all and how it needs to be done uh, these are the areas which i found she is a informational type of leader and uh, where there are the what are the areas which i found where i i would have you know uh, no more about her leadership style is she would have given her example like today as a leader what she is doing and what are the implementation of what she learned from the previous leader maybe that are that were the aspects which i wanted to know more maybe because of paucity of time you might not have included but i would love to uh, uh, uh know those examples which you are using today as a leader overall uh, i will say that there was a clarity in speech good information about the leadership which you are using which you have learned from different uh, leaders in your life and uh, uh, and you met the purpose that is all from my side for toastmasters uh, vrinda's speech yeah now coming to uh, toastmaster arav's speech the objective was he need to identify his a type of communication like what are the type of communication style which he has so uh, he has selected a topic which is related to his what he is doing today first of all toastmaster arav um, you are you are a speaker who speaks from heart and always you are engrossed uh, i have seen you are always engrossed Uh, in the stories which you are telling and that is the best part of it and that's why whatever story you say uh, we are able to imagine that story so it we were able to relate what you are saying with our college life uh, so your style if i if i just uh, say is you are speaking from heart with a humor you are giving lot of examples uh, uh, which which is which are making us laugh and actually might be which me we also have done in our college life uh so so your leadership style is along with along with uh, information you are also adding humor like you have given some examples like 50 pages assignment in just one one night right and in a single night you were completing all the things so these were the points which really made us uh, laugh also 
uh, i will say you could have included uh, what more like what you have done uh, to improve it and how you are implementing it in your day in day out uh, in your uh, life uh, whatever you have learned in the communication uh, finally you have also given us the message that uh, procrastination is not only a negative side of it it brings us the opportunity to do something good and uh, uh, take it in a humorous way not in the negative way so that we can get some idea about it that is all from my side all the best for your future speeches thank you very much josh master pate one arrow and two aims wonderful thank you very much for with for the pratik but i have feedback for both the speakers myself no i want you to both look into the purpose of your respective speeches now when you go and do the training in your base camp it talks about learning different styles because level 2 is all about learning your style your leadership style your communication style and when you do that training it shows you your dominant communication or leadership style it would enhance your speech if you talk about your style of communication your style of leadership how was it successful or how it failed and then how you whether you changed it to something where you felt that change is necessary and then how you come across so vivrunda has made it to a, an aspect aro i want you to take credit to one of the speech speeches in level 3 but repeat this piece talking about your communication style that is my suggestion but it's up to you with that note it's time to see how we are doing on time and who else can help us other than our audacious time of our today those master distinguished those master so uh, once again good morning good afternoon good evening fellow and future those masters i'm we're supposed to give the time of different speakers and evaluations okay uh speaker 1 navya spoke for 6 minutes 57 seconds uh distinguished toastmaster rakhu took 7 minute 13 seconds uh pramod my sequence rakhu what was the time i took for my speech it's 11 minutes and 2 seconds okay uh, exceeded the timing brinda toastmaster brinda took 7 minutes 22 seconds and finally arav took 6 minutes 18 seconds when it comes to evaluation uh, toastmaster predrika took 3 minutes exactly 3 minutes lakshmi nair took a distinguished toastmaster lakshmi nair took 2 minutes 53 seconds distinguished toastmaster rakhu 2 minutes 38 seconds and arav while evaluating brinda speech took 2 minutes 35 seconds and while evaluating okay. pratik speech uh, sorry uh, arav speech you took 1 minute 59 seconds past 3 so i considered it as 2 minutes uh, so all the evaluators have qualified with their respective speech evaluation over to you uh, toastmaster wonderful thank you especially when come to speeches dtm always please don't time me i know that and now it's time to see uh, this is one of the difficult part and i call this role with love the english teacher of the day and it's almost a dreaded role let me invite toastmaster harina to check how we are doing on our language part uh thank you toastmaster raghu so as you said it's a teacher of the day and before i get into that role for each speaker i want to say that my role is to point out and call out which means bring to your awareness what you did well and what could be improved so i'll start with the first speaker toastmaster navya um audacious use of some very colorful words a uh, growling memorable hilarious swarm of seniors pep talk grueling sports enthusiast and the last one really touched my heart which was etched into my heart forever and i would say it was fantastic listening to you um and on the other side and this is something i noticed in general uh, all of you used really good words on one side but in some phrases in some parts of speech there were some parts of speech that were you know in the wrong place uh, 
So for there were some colloquial usages as well. So for example, Toastmaster Navir used something like backside of the hostel. You would say behind the hostel, right? And you use midnights, whereas the usage would have been midnight in that specific instance. And I can share these individually with each of you. And there were fillers like, like that, my today's speech, etc. So I'm not going into more detail. So watch the colloquial language a little bit, maybe prepare your speech and look at the right usage. And this goes in general, I would say. I wouldn't go into specific examples for everybody. Um, second speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Raghu. Um, overall, the grammar was pretty good, very good. Uh, the story uh, had some really nice phrases and touches, like one fine day, uh, little did she know. And there were some, you know, when the different animals were being butchered and slaughtered i found that you use different words like butchered and slaughtered and that added to the color of the speech and you when you're praying you prayed to the almighty rather than oh god that was beautiful um and on the on the improvement side again it's about the prepositions etc like he had few animals it would have been he had a few animals um and caught the first shock of his life so there were minor errors i can share these with you um went into war you would have been been at war uh burn house into ashes you would have been burned house down to ashes minor minor corrections uh which i believe comes with usage of the language and i i feel you will improve a lot more uh one other small suggestion I felt in terms of the story. If you have named the animals, it would have brought it so much more to life, you know, instead of calling them just a rat or a cow, I felt that would have added a lot more color. Uh, third speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Pramod. Um, fantastic use of words specific to the topic, accountability, delegated, meticulous, fraternity, mitigated, accredited. I loved that you called your backup speakers and, uh, you know, role players, guardian angels, uh, pillar of spillers of support. Though there I had a minor, you know, I'm being the teacher of the day here. Uh, you said pillar of supports. The right usage would have been pillars of support. Um, so coming to the improvement side, that would be one. Um, again, small, small corrections um, involves a lot of, it would have been involves a lot of. And this is something that, that comes with more usage of the language, which is looking at the prepositions, etc. cetera. Um, fourth speaker, TM Vrinda, fantastic grammar. Um, I found very few uh, slangs or usages like that. Um, you, there were not too many outstanding audacious words. Um, you use mantra, for example. I felt that in the end, you went to the word formula. And there I felt if you had used the word mantra again, that would have been, you know, connected the two. And you use customer centricity, which was beautiful, authenticity, onus. Um, I, I, there's one improvement in terms of the speech craft itself, which I felt you kept on saying customer first and you use it in different phrases. There is a specific um, tool in communication, which is called the rule of three, or it can be rule of five, where you repeat the same phrase, but you, you could have given an example of how your manager or leader used customer first in different situations, given that example and said customer first. Even another example, customer first. So minor things like that. Um, again, small corrections, um, which which I will share with you. Um, last speaker, TM Arav. I, I, I am very happy with the grammar, great usage of words, uh, very colorful again, very hilarious, roller coaster, honed to perfection, toolkit included, allure, Full season marathon, spun tales, last minute clash, deadlines loom, very colorful, picturesque sort of, uh, you know, um, putting a visual to that entire story, the college experience. Um, I felt you could have used doom scrolling instead of endless scrolling. That would have added some more color. Winners awards you used, that could have been won as an Oscar, right? Uh, small things that would have added even more color to your beautiful storytelling. And one mispronunciation, I'm so sorry to bring this up, but you, instead of cramming, you said cramming, 
So just watch out for some of those small things. Um, I hope I have not been too nitpicky. I just wanted to bring to your awareness how to improve. Thank you. Wow. We found the grammarian for the club. And the award goes to Postmaster Hari Nair. Such a detailed grammarian report. I, I used to always love this lady's report which was Anne Mary, so she was also from the Caribbean island, and perfect. And after her, it is you, Hari. I love the way that you bought the details. When you are an active listener, when you listen to even that small difference from our speech. Wonderful. Thank you very oh, much. I'm uh, looking. I I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't give one part of the report, which is the word of the day. I don't know if I wasn't actively listening enough, but I, I don't think any of the speakers used audacious during their speeches. If I did miss it, if any of you did, please do point it out. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed it. Then you are not actively in that, in that part, at least. Some people have used it, <laughs> including me. Well, then, thank you for that report. But everything is perfect. But then we have some time blanks. So next time, if you're working on as a grammarian, I will want you to adjust everything in three to five minutes. So try to list down and short it to per minute. The best improvement areas and best words that you choose so that you can restrict it to three to five minutes. And you also forgot to give feedback to other role plays also, which might be evaluators too. Right? So next time I want to do that. I am looking forward to hearing your next speech with that perfect English hurry. Probably a session two on how we can improve English. In that note, it's time to invite, or rather see how do we are, how we are, we are doing on our ass and arms, the counter for today, the counter, those master worms, yellow. Thank you, Toastmaster Raghu. Uh, I am, are you able to hear me? Yeah. I noted, uh, I noted a filler words, a few words from the speakers and evaluations. Uh, coming to the speakers first, Navya, uh, I I observed like five times, uh, five times, um, two times. Uh, like I observed Vrinda's speech from Vrinda's speech. I observed ah uh, four times, um, one time. And R, uh, I observed R two times, R M one time. Coming to evaluations, I observed Pratik used R four four times, M one time for Runda speech, and for Auro speech, Pratik used R three times, M two times. Yeah, that is my report. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you very much, Postmaster Wamshi. Well, it has been one of the best meetings we had with some wonderful speakers and some wonderful reports. If people are wondering, why do we have this evaluation, especially the grammarian report and then our counter report? Throw, normally in grammarian report, we don't uh, take names and mention the improvement area, but Ari did it. And I think that's one good thing for each person to know. So sometimes, sometimes people might take it offensive, but it is good to know your improvement areas there. So I would now open it for feedback from our listing Toastmasters and guests how they felt about today's meeting. Anybody who wants to speak, distinguished Toastmaster Lisa and distinguished Toastmaster Frederick, do you want to share your feedback? Good evening again. It was a great meeting. And I came in here to observe, but I found myself as a role player. And for me, I enjoyed every bit of it. The speeches were great, great speeches. You had some audacious speakers and I can see growth. I love that grammarian. And um, speaker three, you know already is a seasoned, a seasoned speaker. He was good. All the speakers were good. Speaker four, speaker five. All of you all were very, very good. And I do enjoy your meeting. That's not my first time being here anyway, but I will be back for sure. Thank you, Raghu. Thank you, Radhika. Keep joining. We have frequent education sessions, especially on health part. So I would invite you right next time when we have it. 
Thank you. Lisa. For sure. So I definitely agree with Frederica. This was a fabulous meeting. I so much appreciate speakathons in general. I think when we have five speakers and five evaluations that we can hardly help but to learn how how wonderful and and um polished and powerful messages can really impact us. So I thought it was wonderful. And Raghu, I, I definitely think that you've got a contest speech in the making. So I would definitely encourage you to practice that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love stories like that. We can learn so much from them. Is that an original story or, or did you hear that from someone? It's, it's, it's not an original story. I hear, I hear I read somewhere and then I... I actually enhance with some adjectives. Yeah, I think that that when you when it's not original, it makes it hard to use it as a as an international contest speech. But maybe you can modify the story in some way so that it becomes original. But I it, it was just. So I have a different speech, so I just sent you for. Chat. Yeah, I, I saw that. I'll I'll listen to it tomorrow. But I sure. really liked that one. I thought that was just great. Um. Also, I don't know if any of you are members of Clubhouse, but Clubhouse Find Your Voice Toastmasters is on Clubhouse at nine a.m. Sunday mornings, and I sent the link to Ragu. So if you're on Clubhouse, find your voice. Uh, Toastmasters from District Forty Six is open to everyone. And if you have um, in your profile, if it says you're a Toastmaster, they'll definitely value having you on stage. So it was closed for a while because Clubhouse has um, re, I don't know, they, they threw out a really great Clubhouse and they've revamped and what they're offering now, I don't like as much as what they were offering. But I would still encourage all of you to come 9 a.m. Eastern time. I don't know what time that is for you, but hopefully you can make it work. So maybe I'll see some of you there in the morning. 6.30 p.m. India time. Anybody who wants to join, I'll share that link with you in the members. Yeah, group. great. What time is it your time? Now it is 8.48 a.m. No, no. But what time would 9 a.m. my time be your time? 30 p.m. Oh, that's great. Not bad. That works for you. That works a lot better than my time does. When we <laughs> do it at 7 p.m. and it's like 4.30 your time in order to come <laughs> on. That's tough. Yeah. So, well, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. And I'm so glad I I, I met Raghu and, and ended up coming to your meeting. And I'll be back. This is great. Sure. Please keep joining. DTM Lisa. Yeah, oh, my friend. pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Anuradha, I'm not sure which part of the meeting was going on when you joined. Do you want to share your feedback? Hi, everyone. This is Anuradha, and I'm from Hyderabad. And this is the second meeting I just would like to participate. Uh, but uh, in India, as you all know that, uh, Sunday morning is a heck for me. So, yeah, and the whole meeting went very, very, very well. And I learned a lot. Thank you all. Thank you, Anuradha. Please keep joining. Probably looking forward. Probably one day as a member too. With I would note. like to. Yeah. Thank you. Please share your contact information. We'll add the guest group also, both in email and also on a WhatsApp. Sure, sure, sure. With that note, I pass the control to presiding officer and VP education if they have any announcement. But before that, I'll stop recording.